Okay, so now we're going to drag a few items into Maya. Let's import the object. This is the lowest level mesh. Let's also drag in the normal map and occlusion map by left clicking and dragging it into Hypershade. This can be found under Window, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. Okay, now why I closed it, I have no idea. So let's go back into Hypershade. Let's set up our node. Now, know that a normal map is not meant to displace anything. Okay, just just know that. I have, you know, I have students all the time ask me, well, why don't that look good? Well, it's, it's not going to look 100% good unless there's some kind of displacement on the mesh. Not in Maya, anyway. So I'll, I'll explain here in a minute. Well, let's go to the Lambert. So I middle mouse button, click and drag it over. I'm also needing a thing called a bump 2D. So I'm going to drag mouse down here, middle mouse button, click and drag it over, middle mouse button, click and drag it over to the ball and hit bump map. Okay. So now that that's hooked up, um, I also want to click this to my normal map default. And I'll go into the first node and change it to tangent space normal. Okay, let's middle mouse button, click and drag this over and hit six on the keyboard. Make sure your high quality rendering is on so you can see it. Uh, one thing that you should do is soften the normals. So normals, soften edge, you'll get a little bit better result. Okay, this is kind of uh, what I've noticed. Things that are in the preview window under high quality, if you're going into the Unreal 3 engine, look amazing within the Unreal 3 engine. Now, if you go to render it, you, you'll find that it's not going to look all that amazing, but don't be disheartened by that. It all depends where you're going. Are you going to stay within Maya or are you going to go to a, a 3D mod engine? Because you're going to get a very hot looking map on this where everything is very bumpy and very ugly. So if you're going to go and stay in Maya, what you have to do is kind of go in here to the normal map and lower the alpha gain to something like 0.1 okay and you might even have to lower it further than that okay and as I said it's not going to make total sense right yet because there is nothing actually displacing this and that's not what the normal map does it doesn't displace anything it just tricks the light into thinking that so it still needs the displacement map to actually make sense but here's the other map, the occlusion map, which is located, if you click on the Lambert, under diffuse. So I middle mouse button, click the occlusion map over to the diffuse map, and you'll see everything got a lot darker. Ah, everything got darker in the crevices of it. So this just helps strengthen the normal map quite a bit. Again, further making it uh, more detailed within the little tiny areas. Okay, so that's it, um, and maybe in the next little vid I'll uncover how to do the displacement 32 on it.